Popocatepetl volcano, the Popo volcano in Mexico, alert has been raised because of the powerful explosions. And of course, it's near Mexico City. This is uh, the latest uh, uh, update on March 30th. The National Disaster Prevention Center, Cenapred for Mexico, raises alert for the Popocatepetl volcano from Yellow Phase 2 to Yellow Phase 3 due to increased volcanic activity, the highest warning level before red. And uh, that took place on March 28th. El Popo, the volcano located in Puebla and Morales, that's commonly known, recorded one of its strongest explosions in the recent years. This happened last week, and another eruption occurred at 6.50 today, sending a two and a half kilometer ash plume into the air. Other explosions, several explosions occurred in recent weeks. Sena Pred said in a statement issued at 11 a.m. March 28th that 61 exhalations occurred at the volcano during the past 24 hours and warned people not to go near the volcano, especially the crater, due to the danger of falling ballistic fragments. The yellow phase 3 alert is the highest warning level before the red phase, in which people living near the volcano are advised to be ready to evacuate. Around 275,000 people live within a 30 kilometer radius of the Popo volcano, and the last recorded major eruption took place in the year 2000. Following today's elevation of alert level, Civil Protection Chief David Moreno urged citizens to remain calm, explaining that the increased activity at the Popocatapel volcano represented a normal change in the volcano. But he added that authorities will carry out inspections of temporary shelters and evacuation routes in order to ensure that they are ready should an alert level be raised again and people have to be evacuated. A 12-kilometer security radius has already been set up and implemented so that people cannot enter the area. Civil Protection Authorities in Puebla warned that falling ash could affect the municipalities of Tochimilco, Atzihuacan, Quaquechula, Tepe, Maxalco, Acteopan, Cojuecan, Topexo, Tepeo, Juma, and Izucar de Matamoros over the next few hours. In case of the ash fall, Senapred will commands that people cover their noses, of course, and their mouths with a handkerchief or a face mask, clean their eyes and throats with water, and avoid the use of contact lenses in order to reduce eye irritation and, of course, close windows in their homes so that there will, there will be as little ash as possible uh, entering near them. This is on Strange Sounds. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.